After Jeremiah did the initial edit of the interviews, I went through and I started cutting them down. You know, when you have something on paper and you want to make an edit out of it, um, you don't know necessarily how long something is. And a lot of these three episodes, when I got all the material on, it was like two hours long. And that's just way too much. So at that point, you've got to cut down. You've got to say, is Dr. Faulkner saying something just similar to Jason Lyle? And so you've really got to hone that down. In fact, I cut out about an hour and 15 minutes of interviews out of each one to make it work, to get it around 45, 50 minutes long. Once I, I had a tight edit, the next uh, real big process was start to fill in what goes over the green screen. Uh, what fits in over what they're saying. NASA has a lot of great footage and photos, but when you're trying to do a 45 minute documentary and three of them, you can quickly run out of footage. So I went online and found a, another great website that the European Southern Observatory has, and uh, lots of great video and, and animations and graphics, and all those combined makes a really great documentary series. Because of the different shooting I've done for different documentaries, I have a, a pretty good library of footage. And so in addition to the space footage, I brought in uh, quite a bit of, of time-lapse and scenic footage to, to plug into this uh, great documentary series. Once I had a pretty decent edit, I had to then have the scientists review them to make sure it was accurate and it flowed well and, and the, the overall message was communicated. And so I sent them to the different scientists, they got me back notes, I made the changes and, and started to finish out the edit. <laughs>